In this media, we are going to learn about electrical maintenance. Electrical installations are continuously subjected to structural and climatic changes which can cause wear and tear on the installations. Electrically induced stresses like overheating, overvoltages, and stray, static and surge currents also contribute to the wear and tear. Sometimes, electrical faults do occur. Some common faults on electrical installations in ships are short circuit and earth faults on cables, wiring, electrical accessories, switchboards, generators, and motors. Short circuits inside a coil winding in generators and motors occur due to failure or damage of insulation between two phase windings, normally in overhang portion. In distribution systems, three phase cables and bus bar cubicles are the common locations affected by phase faults. Short circuit and external circuits could be either at the bus bar or in any of the outgoing feeder circuit. Bus bar faults could be due to failure of supporting insulators or due to shorting of phases. Earth faults inside a generator or motor winding occur due to failure of insulation between phase windings to earth, normally in the slots. The following are some of the causes for short circuit and earth faults. 1. Breakdown of insulation due to overheating, ingress of moisture, aging of insulation, and accumulation of dust and oil on windings. 2. Mechanical damages to windings in the event of core lamination getting loose, shearing, and piercing the winding coils. Following are the common earth fault locations in systems. Lamp fittings on open deck. Washing machines drenched in water area. Ovens, hot plates, etc. are also exposed to earth faults. Dripping water over electrical machinery. Old electrical apparatus whose insulation has aged and getting brittle. Terminal wires which have got separated from the terminals and touching the metal casing of electrical machinery. To avoid the occurrence of such problems, it is necessary to maintain the electrical instruments with periodic maintenance and tests. Maintenance can be classified into three different types. 1. Breakdown maintenance. 2. Planned maintenance. 3. Condition monitoring. Breakdown maintenance. It is done in equipment only after breakdown occurs. The equipment is untouched before breakdown. In this process, the damaged parts of equipment are repaired or replaced. The disadvantage of this kind of maintenance is that if the breakdown occurs on board, manpower will not be sufficient to attend the breakdown. This will result in delayed service, restoration of the equipment. Planned maintenance. In this type, the maintenance is carried out in fixed periodic intervals as scheduled by manufacturer or owner of the equipment. Even if the equipment is running properly, maintenance is done at regular intervals to avoid equipment breakdown. It is advantageous because of the following. Maintenance can be carried out at periods favorable to the shutdown of the plant and when manpower is available. You can order the replacement equipment in advance. Condition Monitoring 
This is almost similar to that of planned maintenance. In this type, you can predict any probable failure from the operating parameters displayed by monitoring equipment. So, unnecessary maintenance works on equipment can be avoided. Thus, you have learnt about types of electrical maintenance.